Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Go live. Live. There it is. Two waiting. <laughs> That's okay. us. Well, it will be us when we get our life together. <laughs> I tuck all my junk in. <laughs> Suck it in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't bring anything over with me, so I hope I didn't have any notes. I have no idea. I don't know. No idea. I don't know at all. Hi, Mary. Hi, Bella Ann. Heather. Joanna. Heather and her inconspicuous. <laughs> <laughs> Heather, where did Bella Ann come yeah, from? Really. We're curious. Because <laughs> I know who you are. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Joe, I have a special package in the mail mm. for you right now. And who do you mean special? <laughs> Not special in a bad way. Don't worry. It's not like, ooh, it's ticking special. No, like a no, nice, uh, a nice yeah. package. Uh -huh. You'll be happy. So will Thea. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Pat Hale. Does Pat Hale usually check in? Pat, I haven't seen Pat Hale in a while. Pat Hale, we didn't think you liked us anymore. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> we were wondering where you disappeared to. <laughs> well. Uh, we're here. We're here. We're here together. Together. I know. We weren't. We haven't been together since Eric just last Monday. He did. Role. He tried yeah. really, really yeah. hard. But you know what role Eric does fill really well? <laughs> Cutting cork. Oh yes. Our shelves don't look sad anymore. Mm -mm. I don't know how long it's gonna last. It all depends on maybe what I show you guys today. But the shelves look so sad. It's Barb sent me too. pictures when I was in Texas, and I was like, "Don't show me that. <laughs> they look so sad. They were so empty. They were so empty." <laughs> nothing i could do i know i know no, phyllis it's not snowing here no it's um it's 30 degrees which isn't great but sun's out and that is not something we see very often no. um all winter so but you know i got really excited prematurely because oh. i was like oh my god it's like almost the middle of march ha. we're getting towards the end and then i looked at my phone this morning and it was mm. like <laughs> you're getting snow next week it's at four to eight inches you're kidding i am not out here i don't know if we're getting it but I think well, it's, I don't live that far from here. So, well, I mean, I live far enough, but still, yeah. You're so south, like, though. I'm am east. I south? You're south of here. I thought you? I was east. I'm <laughs> east. You're southeast. I, <laughs> I know I go west if I get on the throughway. That's all I know. But you're down south farther. <laughs> I have no idea. Late Sunday night to Wednesday evening, snow lasting three oh, days, God. three days, four to eight inches. That's at least spread out. It's not like one day, yeah. but. From Monday morning through Wednesday now. Really? Cool. <laughs> Thanks, Mother <Yeah>. Nature. <laughs> wow. Exciting. I know. We shouldn't complain because we choose to live here, but I still hate it. So, oh, Bella Ann, did you say she is? It's her Heather. Etsy name. It's her Etsy name. Her family is from Belarus. Oh, look and at you. my middle name. Wow. I had no idea. Now I know. All the questions that I have for you guys. That's what we should do on YouTube one day is the questions I we'll have for you. Them questions. Exactly. There I think that would be fun. So, okay, Shelly, what was up with the hot pink hair? <laughs> Shelly and Trisha had many looks, many, many looks during the retreat. Now I feel like I need to plan ahead for May because I feel like I was unprepared. <laughs> so I don't have a lot of stuff for you, um, except I have show and tell because we got new cork in and it's not all here because we are still waiting for many roles to come in. I think we have still five roles total on the way. Most of them. How many did we get? Six. 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 And Eric cut them all yesterday because he's a machine. So, he and did. he would. Thank God. Well, and he loves his new machine. Well, so, good. Good. We have one very small role that's supposed to come in today. And I was like, I can cut it. It's not a big deal. And he was like, I got it. I got it. <laughs> like, okay. Not saying a word. Um, so, do we have anything to tell them? I don't think that we do. I feel like, um, do we? I won't be here next Friday. Well, you won't be here next Friday because no. Barb's going to a retreat. I'm, I'm well, another Barb one. Barb is hosting a retreat. She goes to them, but she doesn't get anything yeah. done. No. <laughs> um, Definitely not. Just a recap of the stuff I told you last Friday and you weren't here. No. Um, is, well, I wasn't here on your either. couch. I was on my couch with my with whole dogs. family, with the, all the Vandenbergs. Um, all of the dates and everything are now up on the website. So the dates for South Carolina, no, North Carolina. I get very confused with the Carolinas. I wish they would just merge and become Carolina. Um, North Carolina, Paducah. I have dates for So Badgical in St. Louis, but I don't have details. 
I have a lot of stuff coming up. And tonight, I think I mentioned this yesterday, tonight at 6 p.m., I will be doing a wine and chat. I think that's what she calls it with Kayla mm -hmm. from So Magical. So if you go to the So Magical YouTube channel, there's a little, there's a little thing that says episode 61, like coming tonight and you can watch it there. Or I believe you can also watch it in the Facebook group. And there's usually like a little countdown, but 6 PM Eastern tonight, I will be on my couch with a glass of wine talking to Kayla about, I have no, <laughs> I have no idea what, but we will be talking. So I will be there. So. Oh, they want to show and tell the cork cutting machine. <laughs> You want to see? I mean, I can show it to you if you really want to. It's really not that exciting. It's but not. It's a I don't improve, think it's that exciting. It's not real exciting. Um, I did promise Sue Smith that I would get a video of Eric cutting cork, but I was not feeling wonderful yesterday. I have not been all week. I've had a headache all week, so I was just kind of sitting in here doing pre-orders and back orders and just sitting in my little cave. So I will get a video of him cutting. <laughs> but basically, what it is is it was meant for. Um, we bought it from a printing facility. So it's for signs. And so it's imagine um, like a, those big those paper, like things? those cricket things, not like the paper cutter with the handle, but the little paper cutters where you go and you do that, but like on massive scale, it's like, yeah. it's like five feet wide and it's anchored to our table, which fun fact <laughs> is not a table. <laughs> Should I tell them what it is? Go ahead, tell them. It was for refinishing or finishing caskets. I don't think you refinish them. I think you they're done one one use only. Um, it was a casket finishing table. And so, yeah, so it used to be on wheels and it's like the perfect height for caskets. Everything in my life is morbid and not intentionally. Um, but his friend was getting rid of it and Eric took it. Now that sits on a folding table and then the cutter is on top and then the cutter has a built-in blade. So instead of what we used to do was we had this L-shaped bracket. You'd pull the cork through, line it up, then you'd have to make sure the bracket was pushed back because you always slid and around slide. and you'd have to hold it. And then you'd use a rotary cutter. And if you use a rotary cutter, you know that this is as awkward yeah. as cutting towards yourself. <laughs> exactly. So you're cutting sideways. It was weird, it, it but it worked. It, cut. it was <laughs> better than what we had in the beginning, which was nothing, um, which was folding <laughs> it in half and using a, a variety of tables. Yeah. <laughs> and so now Eric just has to, like it has like an arm that lifts up. He pulls it through, snaps it back down, and then it has a built-in blade and he goes, yeah. and that's it. I actually am not allowed to use it because it's not mine. <laughs> so, he says it's a gift for me. It's not. It was a gift for Eric. <laughs> That's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I also posted the um, So Magical vlog. So I didn't get as much. I feel like I didn't get as much at the show and with setup and stuff as I did with my mom in Florida. I was all distracted. I was distracted because it was cold in Texas. That like, <laughs> threw me off. Oh, I'm like, they're saying it's very hot right well, now. Yeah, now it's hot, but yeah. it was so cold that I think I just got all distracted. And we were halfway through setup. I'm like, shoot, I forgot to put the camera and the tripod up, which I had with me. So I'm going to try to do that in Tennessee. Um, but I put up our vlog and our adventure. And somebody said that Eric did not get a speeding ticket in Ohio. He was trying to qualify. <laughs> And the, the the cop misunderstood it. I agree with that. Um, but yes, Eric Eric's speeding ticket was reduced. He's good now. I paid for it. So um, we have new cork. Okay. <laughs> Do your questions. She's got you up on this one. Oh, tell me, tell me. Jenna says her hubby's looking at an autopsy table. The perfect size for crafting and has a built-in sink. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it does. I love it. <laughs> You got me on the lookout for one now. You did one up me, and now I kind of want an autopsy table. Um, yeah, just to make people talk about me more than they already do. Exactly. It's a good thing one of us is sane. Which one? Oh, okay. I'm just checking. So that says Barb. Um, <laughs> do you have anything else? Um, nothing, not at the moment. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. We got a lot of new cork in. So we did get a lot of restocks. <clears throat> I'm not going to go through all those. I've been trying to update those. I think I missed a couple. So I'll go back and double check everything. It's really hard when you hit that much at one time to mm -hmm. keep up. So I'm trying to keep up with everything. But we got in some, oh, I just saw something. Can I see this for a second? No, hold on. Hold on. Wait, we're going to do something. Oh. I forgot to hit publish. Oh, geez. <laughs> so, okay. 
So it is now published on the website. Yeah. I forgot to do it before because Barb and I were talking and we got sidetracked. So we got in some restocks. We got in some new prints that aren't exclusive, but they're new to us. And then we got some exclusives that were designed in-house, which I'm really excited about because that means you can't find them anywhere except here. So I'm going to move that over. They're ours. They're ours. And, and I'm very excited. Alone. So I think we're going to start with these two because they're easy, but I love them. They're pretty. Polka dots. We got more polka dots. And we still have one, one more. No, more than that. We have at least one more new print coming, hopefully like soon. And then the other ones should be coming in a little bit. So we got polka dots on candy apple. And then we also got polka dots on pastel Ooh, green. Pretty. One thing I wanted to show you with this, I love this because it's mm -hmm. subtle. The pastel green is textured. Our regular pastel yeah. green is not. So they're the same identical color, but you get like more depth, I think, with this one. So it almost looks like it has like kind of grays and stuff in it. It's the texture. So this is smooth and this is textured. That's all. But just so that you know, and I think I did note that on there as well. If I didn't, I'm telling you now. There but you anything that you like with pastel green will look really, really pretty mm -hmm. with the polka dots, including, hold on. I brought some because I wanted to show you. Um, this is restocked, yeah. the green floral. How that pretty looks is really that? Good with that? Like that needs to be something. Yeah. I don't know what, but that needs to Make be something. something. I know. I Just wrap it up this afternoon. Just right now. Yeah. I, we have company coming, Barbara. Oh, that's right. I forgot. We also got succulents back. Thank goodness. And look at that. Yeah, that looks really good with it. So I'm working on a new pattern. I'm trying anyway. I've been mentally off this week. And I made it with this and the pastel green. And now oh, I wish that I had the polka, polka dots because I'm like, it's just one step up. Like, I don't know. If you're not a polka dot person, I get it. But I just, I mean, isn't that gorgeous? Don't you love that? I do. Yes. Barb gives it her, okay. That's the color of my bedroom. I'm not surprised. It's the color of your cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's either aqua or, or, or green, green of some kind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, I wanted to show you that. So that is in. And... Oh, and because I don't know why I keep talking about this, but mm -hmm. people will see it in a video and then go, is that cork? Is that new? Where'd you get that? This is the pastel floral. Mm -hmm. It has been sold out twice now. Right. We just got it restocked. If you want it, get it now because I cannot promise you how long it's going to stay in stock. But I love this. I love it so much that I haven't even gotten to use it because you guys bought it all. Mm -hmm. So we will keep restocking it. And the green is not in there, but I think it's pretty anyway. It kind like of it makes it, that look kind of green. Yeah, like there's a little bit of like yeah. a yellow green and like yeah. an aqua color, but I just think it's so pretty. So that's yeah. restocked too. So, okay. Um, I'm going to skip because I have polka dots in front of me to, oh, don't tell me I didn't bring it in. What? Oh. <laughs> the one that you got. Oh. Could you grab it? I can't believe I didn't get that one. Oh, wait, 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 Barb. I thought you did it's that. right there. I forgot to bring it over. It's in my green tote bag. So, you know that I'm not a red person, but I am at the moment. And this is Eric because of Eric. <laughs> so, we have the candy apple polka dots, but we also have the skulls on candy apple. And I... At first, I'm like, oh, I don't know. And then I saw it and I was like, yeah, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So... Eric wants me to make a Harper in this with black accents. Mm -hmm. So I might be also filming a Harper tutorial at some mm -hmm. point in the future because that needs to happen anyway. But I love this. Yeah, and we'll the natural is back too. in. Candy apple with black polka dots on it. Ooh. That, that would look cool. We don't have that. No. <laughs> Damn, Barb. Want me All to right. get a magic marker? Yes, color? we'll color them all. Oh. For the low, low price of $9.99, Barb will color in your polka dots for you. Um, <laughs> no, she will not. No, um, <laughs> she will not. So we have the skulls on natural. That is back in stock. Um, and now we have it on red. And I actually think it's pretty cool. And I'm not even a red person. But who else liked this one? Sean. <laughs> so the, the dudes in our life are big into yeah, the skulls. Yeah, exactly. So. And Miss Annette bought a piece of it too. Doesn't that seem so yes, crazy? Yes. But she said her nephew 
is a tattoo artist and she wanted oh, to okay. make something for him. And doesn't that make sense? That's perfect. So, okay. Well, since we're in our like dark phase, <laughs> then we'll go into the bright stuff. So we also got the marble print mm. on olive and wine because we do a lot with these colors, mm -hmm. like a ton. And just to give you a little something extra. So we have the olive dots that came in. We have not done wine dots, but that might be the mm -hmm. next one. Yeah. Um, I'll put polka dots on anything and <laughs> anything that they will allow me to put polka dots on. I just want polka dots on everything. I love them. So we have a white those. marker. <laughs> <laughs> so there's those. Just very one. pretty. Very pretty. And you know what? Sometimes you don't want flowers or a bold That's print. Yep. You know, sometimes you want something subtle. Sometimes you want to make something, you know, like my sister, not a big flower yeah. person, but yep. she would probably be all about this. And, you know, just gives you a little something more mm -hmm. than solid, but you can mix this with anything. So the marble print itself is white, but there is a tiny, tiny fleck of black, yeah. but it's not much. It's mostly just the white that you see. Mm. So it just gives you a little something, a little something extra. Okay. So that's our dark stuff. So that's now, the dark, the side. dark stuff. Now let's get into fun stuff because we want spring to come. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Desperately. So. I don't want I snow next week. I don't want snow ever. <laughs> so this is the terrazzo because it reminds me of a terrazzo that floor. It does. Very much. So it's it's kind of a weird neutral because none of them are exactly the exact gray or black or anything, but it looks good with caramel because there's like a tiny yeah, bit. A tiny bit there. The black is lighter than our black. It's like a, a wash black, but it still looks good with the solid black. Um, it's got almost like a pinkish color mm. to it but it's not pink it's not like oh god there's pink in there it's like a washed out blush color lots of grays all the neutrals so another non-feminine print i'm trying but i love all the flowered stuff you know me i know i want all the flowers she wants all the flowers i want all the flowers all the pretty colors so we got that one and then <laughs> What says spring and summer more than flamingos? Pink flamingos. <laughs> pink right. flamingos on polka dots. And the pink that's in the background, we do have that with polka mm -hmm. dots coming. We've had that before. It's just been on back order. Mm -hmm. So we will have that. The polka dots are smaller, but I still think, I still think it would look cute, even though mm -hmm. the polka dots oh, are smaller. Yeah. Yeah. But the flamingos are awfully cute. It does look good with rose gold, which is currently out of stock, but that is also <laughs> coming in. Listen, I cannot make these manufacturers go any faster. No. Um, some of them are naturally fast and some of them are not. And they're that's just slow. the way it is. <laughs> I can't help it. So, yes, we're waiting as patiently oh as my we God. can. <laughs> Estrella says, I've been patiently waiting for the skulls to return. I make coffin bags and I want to make, oh my to God. make yes. a couple in cork. What the heck is a coffin bag? Like a coffin shaped. Oh, <laughs> They're for your coffin. You put it in there. They're for the vampire community. Get, get with it, Barb. Barb doesn't Don't understand. She doesn't own her own coffin, so she's not aware. No, it's like coffin shape. <laughs> the look at your face was priceless. <laughs> Sorry. You're like, what's a coffin bag? Exactly. When you're not in your coffin, like during in the nighttime, you put it in its bag. It's like a dust cover. Good. So. <laughs> okay. Don't get me started. Or New pattern words. alert. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, no. <my> God. No. <laughs> so we got flamingos. Flamingos with little flowers. She's and they're gonna just post one. Okay. Thank you, Estrella. I want to see what it looks like. <laughs> All right. And one more. And then I'm going to show you our exclusives. Hurting. This one is like a rainbow leopard print. I don't know what else to call it because it's just kind of splotchy, but it's got like a little bit of that leopard printy kind of look. I don't know. Lauren from, from More Me Know bought the only piece that I had when I was in um, Texas. So that just tells you it's kind of her her cup of tea. It's very much, it's pink it's all the good colors. It's the pastels. It's got green and pink. Yeah. And it's just fun. It's just really cute. So, you know, girly, but not flowers. No. Yeah. We're, we're branching out. Splatchy. Well, we were branching out. Then we have this pile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now we're back to. These are all Drum exclusive roll. flowers. Flowers. Um, well, yeah, they're all flowers. Uh, <laughs> these 
are all exclusive. You will not find them anywhere else. They were designed in house and I'm very excited about it. So first is watercolor lilies. Isn't this beautiful? That is so pretty. I love this. That's really pretty. I absolutely love this. It's better in person. I can assure you of that. It's Very just the pretty. detail. It looks yeah. great with like all the brighter, richer colors. Um, it looks awesome with iris, which is also yeah, out of stock. Out of stock. <laughs> Listen, I can only do what I can do. <laughs> but it's got a lot of depth to it. It's just really, really pretty. Or if you don't want to add color, put this with like a natural yeah. and just kind of leave. It's on the smooth natural, mm -hmm. so it's just really soft, but I love this one. I mm -hmm. absolutely love this. So I haven't made anything with this yet. I haven't made a decision what I want to do with it, but I really I like don't it. know. So I'm saving that one. Tomato might be pretty with that. The tomato, I think the tomato looks nice with yeah. the chill. I might wait until Iris comes back in just because, yeah. you know, I'm going to want purple. Uh-huh. So now we have the snails and the mushrooms because why not? They're so cute. Yeah. This was because of that book that I carry that has little snails and mushrooms yeah. on it. And I was like, I want something like this. I think it would be really cute. So um, the first, the first swatch of this, I misspoke because I don't speak in centimeters. I use inches. And what I said and what it translated to the swatch, the snail was like this. <laughs> like mm, that's like a life-size slug i was like no 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 so it's better so that's this cute. one is very washed like mm -hmm. it looks like there's bright colors with like a wash over top of it and the background is not gray but it's not purple it's like a it's like it depends on what you put next to it when you put gray next to it it looks more purple when you put purple next to it you see that it's kind of grayed it's a weird color but it's just cool it's i like good. it I don't know. Great it's purple. It's like a gripple. <laughs> it's a gripple. There um, you go. Gripple. It's got yeah. a little caterpillar. It's got little snails. These two are sitting on top of each other. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Mushrooms, little butterflies, little teeny tiny butterflies. I just think it's cute. I think it's really cute. So. Oh my God. They make coffin wallets too? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like Rebecca says, gotta have something to carry the gloss in, in the afterlife. <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> I saved this one for last because it's my favorite. Because it's my absolute favorite. It's really pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. This is the black and white floral on mauve because the background is a weird color. It's pinky, purpley, mauvey, orchidy yeah. stuff. And Nova said it's mauve. And I was like, it is kind of mauve. We'll go with mauve. Kind of. Because yeah. I really, I thought in my head that it was going to be, mauve, but... right. I thought it was going to be the color of our orchid zipper. Uh -huh. Orchid zipper is much more purple. Yeah. But then when you put it next to pinks, it's more pink. We're going for the yeah. mysterious colors. That's what we're exactly. doing. But it has like little butterflies and little flowers and little, I don't know what, but I love this. I made a sample of my new pattern with this and I mixed it with the charcoal dots. Oh, that's, that looks, looks really, really good. So that is, that is what we have for you. Those are all the new quirks. Uh, we have one more coming. It's just another polka dot. And then we have possibly two or three more whenever they get here. And then restocks, lots of restocks. Um, mm -hmm. Any court questions? We had to put up another shelf. <laughs> we did. We had to put up we another shelf shelving. in our, in our new building where yeah, we thought we had all the room in the world. We ran out of space. <laughs> Oh, since I am monogramming a customer's Christmas stocking, Cindy wants to know, can we talk about the holiday swap? I love holiday swap. It's March. It's not even summer it's yet, March. Cindy. Cindy. <laughs> um, I, yeah, if you want to. <laughs> you guys are silly. Um, yeah, we can talk about the holiday swap. Nothing will happen for six more months, but um, we don't usually start doing anything until September. Mm. But yeah, the holiday swap is... Well, it's fun. I mean, you get a yeah. free present and you get to make a present for someone and you get to make new friends and mm -hmm. it's just fun. This will be our fourth year. Yeah. Which is crazy to me. Mm -hmm. You've done every year. I have. Yeah. Yeah. Four years. Wow. I don't know. It's never too early. Yes, it is, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> Question. Yes. Would the scale for to the orange lily cork? be too big for a Sammy or a Charlotte? I don't think so. Um, oh, breaking news. Guess what I found? Hey, finally. <laughs> I've been looking for this thing since we moved. It was inside of a Lola bag that's been sitting on my shelf. 
Um, I don't think it was inside something. Well, I mean, I knew that. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it could totally work. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it would be fine on Charlotte too. I mean, the thing is yeah. with the larger prints like this, it's a larger print, but the colors, there's a lot yeah. of color in one area. So even if you don't directly get the print, I think you'll get a lot of color. Yeah. The biggest is the lily, but the little flowers are not that big. So I think that would totally work. Now they're getting really crazy. What? Uh, Christmas in July? Christmas in July? Summer swap? Oh. I like Christmas in July too. Listen, I... I <laughs> I will think about it. I will not make you any promises because the swap is a lot of work on my end. It is a lot of work. So I will think about it. I will think about doing a smaller scale swap, but okay, listen. you thought about it. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not saying no, but it's, it's a lot it's of work. March. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, no holiday talk in March, unless it's St. Patty's day. Um, so we did get two other new things, and I just realized I have to put these on the website. They're not on there yet, but they will be. Um, we got in a very small amount yeah. of sparkly rollers, mm. the pink to teal, and we got snips. So, so we, pretty. we didn't get a ton of them, uh, but I can always get more. But these will be on the Notions page when we're done, because <laughs> I just remembered I forgot to put them on there. So there we go. There you go. That's it. That's all the stuff that came in this week. And, oh, well, that's not everything. I got two sewing machines this week. That's right. <laughs> I I ordered for here and for the classroom, which is still not set up, but it's coming. It's coming slowly. I got two Janome HD9s. So we will have those in the classroom that will be available for use. I got a black one so that I can make Eric film videos. <laughs> I figured if uh -huh. it matched his oh, aesthetic, yeah. he'd that's be much true. more that's likely true. to do it. So we got a black one and a white one. <laughs> So I'm very excited about that. Um, and yeah, we're going to, I hopefully next weekend, I'm going to start actually like putting the classroom together, but we've yeah, had a lot of stuff going on this week with cutting cork mm -hmm. and getting inventory and trying to get back into our routine, which is not easy. We've got a lot of suggestions here. Go for it. How about a meet, greet, swap exchange at SME in Orlando? That's Charlie. I would love to do that, Charlie, but I don't know how I get on like the, yeah. the list. I don't know. I'll talk to Kayla about it. I mean, I would love to do that. I think that sounds awesome. I'll ask her what the like what the details are of that. That oh, that would make me feel so special. Because everybody does the swaps with like the other designers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it might just be me and you, Charlie. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> It'll be me, you and Lisa Wentz, and that's it. <laughs> Cindy, I think that would be so much fun. Cindy suggests a firecracker swap. Um, and then Bella, Bella Ann, who is Heather, Heather, says, do the swap through Elfster, Elfster app. Elfster. Elfster. I have Elfster. heard of that before. And firecracker as in like fireworks? Like what Probably. are we talking? What's Probably. a firecracker? Yeah. Listen, I don't For understand. For the holiday, 4th of July holiday. Firecracker. But like what's Summer. a firecracker? Like a, like a, <laughs> like what do you... <laughs> Or that's the name of the swap. Listen, yes. you got hung up on coffee bags, so don't start. All right. <laughs> I was like, like we're gonna. I don't think you're allowed to mail fireworks. <laughs> the next, uh, can we do cork with frogs? With frogs. Frogs. Will it? Will it? <laughs> if more than one person wants frogs, yes. <laughs> My limitations on cork. I will be honest with you. I don't want. I don't want to do a lot of really highly specialty things that like mm -hmm. only like one or two people would want. So like if it's something that other, that a lot of people would be into, I'm fine with it. And we also don't do a lot of holiday cork. I've been asked for like, yeah. why don't you do Valentine's day and St. Patrick's day? And I tried to, like, I had to explain this to my husband because he's like, why not? And I was like, because you're not a woman. So you don't totally understand. We don't really do a lot of holiday mm -hmm. purse carrying. And most of what I make, I know that, Obviously, there's Charlie and, and men that make bags and there's, you know, people that don't carry purses. I get all that. I'm not trying to be all like weird and sexist. But if most of my patterns are everyday bags, I'm not going to make myself a holiday bag. Like no. maybe for Christmas or Halloween because I'm freaky. Yeah. But I don't want to be like, it's February time for the bag with hearts. Yeah. It's March time mm -hmm. for a green bag. Yeah. So that's that's really the only limitations I have. If you guys want it, I'm into it. And speaking of, I'm just going to plant this seed out in the world. Eric, my Eric, <laughs> um, 
wants to start designing some of his own cork because he's gotten this bug and I'm letting him have his enjoyment. He's not usually the creative guy, but all of a sudden, like, I think because he's been hanging out here, mm -hmm. um, he wants to do more like edgy stuff. And I know that that's not for everybody, but also the skulls yeah. weren't for everybody. And we have people that ordered them for other people. Yeah. He's into like tattooing, like looking yeah. things, pinup girls, like cool things like that. Oh, God. So I'll there be could it be, all home. <laughs> I know there could be some very cool things. One of the ones that he showed me last night, I was like, oh, not my favorite, but listen, if you want to invest your own money, you go right ahead, honey. Um, so <laughs> You may in the future, and I'm telling you this so that you're not like, whoa, did she lose her mind? No, she did not. Eric, Eric did. did. <laughs> um, which is is fine. Mm -hmm. But Eric wants to, you know, he's like, there's other people in the world that might want cork other than, you know, the customers that you have. Let's mm -hmm. get like, you know, let's introduce them and also new customers. And I'm like, I'm fine with that. We need new friends. You guys are mm -hmm. great, but let's make our group even bigger. And who knows? I might put something out there that you and I are like, okay, that's odd. Yeah. But everyone goes, oh my God, I have a use for that. Exactly. That's amazing. Yeah. You know, did I think in the past six years that I would be ordering cork with flamingos on it? No, I did not. Or skulls. Or skulls. No, no, I did not. <laughs> but here I am. <laughs> because we all have to grow and evolve. So uh, somebody's requesting a children's line because they're making things for their grandchildren. What does a children's line entail? That's Frogs. my question. Frogs. <laughs> Charlie Frogs. says frogs are sellable. Okay. Well, Charlie <laughs> says, then we're done. Um, and he also said, uh, so magical would love some edgy cork. Look at Zarell and stuff. Well, Lots and of it, edge. that is exactly my train of thought is not because I would still put it on the website, obviously. But there's also that that other group that I've kind of tried to infiltrate in the so magical land that is buying yeah vinyl that has like really edgy yeah. stuff and horror movie things and all this kind of stuff there's definitely a market for it i just i'm trying to ease you guys in so that some of you aren't like wow she's crazy you know but she we is a, but a suggestion to cure that to tab cure my crazy that people oh. would think you're crazy oh put a special tab up that says eric's creations there eric it has <laughs> his own special tab trust me um no chances are that's what i would do so it wouldn't get lost in the shuffle you know, like there would be a separate page on the website that has like, because if that's not your thing, you don't even have to go to that page, exactly. but that way you're not scrolling. Cause our court page is getting longer oh gosh, and longer yeah. and longer because we keep adding stuff, which is awesome. Yeah. It's awesome that we just got a new shelf. Like that's great. <laughs> We're expanding, but I would probably put that separately just so that, you know, if you're like, okay, I want some of that, like wacky, edgy, crazy stuff that you have a spot to go find it instead of trying to like dig through all the piles. So it is something that him and I have been working on. He's very happy when he's here. He mm -hmm. gets very excited. He enjoys. But I don't like that he's the night shift. Yeah, I know, but he has a stupid job. Yeah, but I don't like that it doesn't come on Mondays and Fridays. Hmm. You tell him. I, I will miss tell my him. work partner. I will tell him. <laughs> I will tell him. He was supposed to be here today, but apparently he has a job to do. Yeah. So whatever. Cindy <laughs> says, I guess these are ch children friendly, sea life, princess, western, books. Okay. All right. I, I, I'm not opposed to anything really. No, I'm pretty not. open. <laughs> it listen, if it's going to sell, it's going to sell. And this was something, this is something that my husband said to me many, many years ago. And I will say to you in case you also need to hear it. Maybe you're trying to get into business. Maybe you're making bags and whatever. I remember when I was selling bags, I would pick out all the stuff that I liked. Mm -hmm. And Eric said, well, what about this? And I was like, I don't really like that. He's yeah. like, but it's not about what you want. It's about what the customer wants. That is a hard exactly. place to get to. You probably deal with it with like quilting mm -hmm. designs where you're like, I don't want this, but somebody wants yeah. it. You so have you to, it. you have to, and it's hard. Yeah. It's hard because you're going, this is so not my style, mm -hmm. but it doesn't matter. Cause if it's someone else's style and it makes them happy yeah. and you're profiting from it, that's, that's the part of being in business. So I'm telling you all that in case you're like, oh, but right now I'm only enjoying making this style bag. My customers keep asking for this one. You might have to do it. Yep, exactly. <laughs> you know, it's, it, it just is the way that it goes. So. Uh, Adirondack theme of mountains, lakes, and forest animals. Guess who came with that one? Um, Pat Hale. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> I, I, um, I've been, I keep little folders of ideas and I do have all sorts of fun stuff. 
My only problem, my only beef with like mountain stuff is that it's so directional. And I know some of yeah. the other stuff is, but I'm trying to find things. I like stuff that is not obviously directional so that you're not concerned about like the moose being on its head, you know, and all yeah. that kind of stuff. And so question. Yes. What is the best way to order templates? One at a time or one big order? I would like a bunch, but I don't want to seem overwhelming. Never in a hurry for delivery. It really does not matter. No. Um, it's if you order them all together, it's one sheet. It's easier to, to go through and check them off. Mm -hmm. um, the system, in case you want to know, because you know they're all made to order. Um, I take all the template orders a few times a week. I run the Glowforge probably every single day, um, sometimes here and at home, depends on what we have going on. I get them all done and I bring them to Barb twice a week. Sean does all the painting and cleaning up and gets them all ready. And then Eric comes over and packs them. So we have a system. So the more that I get done, the more that Sean gets done, the more that Eric will pack. So that was what he did Tuesday. Tuesday. I think all day, like all afternoon Tuesday, he packed up all the template orders. So excuse me, I'm trying to get our time down, but there's also two other people involved in that. So I do my part, they do theirs mm -hmm. and we get it out, but we're trying to get the time quicker. And I think we're doing pretty good right I at the moment. So. When there's a new template release, that's when we get backed up because then we have like all those templates mm -hmm. to do. So, um, but yeah, if you, it's however you want to do it, you can order one yeah. at a time or all at once. If you order all at once, it's one sheet and I'll get them all put together for you. Plus the other thing with templates, when you have more than one thing, it actually packs better and ships better. Yeah. Like trying to ship like one little <laughs> fragile thing, you're like overpacking it and like really scared. Yeah. When you have like five templates at once, they can really be stacked and shrink wrapped and it, they actually ship better. Yeah. So, you know, buy all the templates all at once. There so, you go. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you dare place an order for one template. No, no. never. <laughs> Imagine if we said things like that and magic. Oh my God. That would oh. be terrible business. <laughs> order them. Order as many as you want. Order all of them in all yes. the colors. Get backups. So. <laughs> Somebody's looking for black and gray musical with guitars on it. We don't have See anything me? with music, do we? No. Music would be a good one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Music. Now I just need a GoFundMe page <laughs> so we can get all this work. <laughs> So much. I want all the cork. <laughs> we were just talking about this earlier. Yeah. It's you know, it's it's hard because you don't always realize on the customer side, and I've probably been guilty of it myself too, where you're like, but I want this one thing. Yeah. And for me, I have to order all these things to get that one thing. So yeah, so we'll have a GoFundMe page. <laughs> I'm kidding. Watch out. I'm kidding. Oh my God. <laughs> and then somebody leaves and they're like, all she wants is money. money. <laughs> no, I mean, I do want your money, but in exchange for things, I always give you stuff back. So. <laughs> Music would be good. Music, Music would be a really good one. Yeah, yes. it probably would. You know, and I didn't even really Guitars, think about that. Pianos. Music notes, like all Music that notes. stuff that I don't know anything about. I will tell you when you're here alone, the acoustics are really good for yeah. singing. <laughs> I sound really amazing. Um, <clears throat> not in real life, but I'm like, damn, I sound good. <laughs> the bathroom has great acoustics too. Really good echo. <laughs> so if you want to come over and sing, you're welcome sing to. Sing in the bathroom. You can sing yourself. in our bathroom. Uh -huh. Yes. We're, we're open to all sorts of ideas. <laughs> I bought some of the green algae cork. Not sure the name. I'm going to make a boxy patch. Is it poetry bag with sharp poles for one grandson? Is it out the rocks? The maybe, green rocks, maybe. maybe. We got a bunch of that in too. I, know, I love that. Eric likes that print too. How, so. Oh, Charlie's got some edgy musical frogs. Edgy musical frogs. <laughs> edgy musical frogs with cowboy boots. <laughs> the icicles are the long straps. Yes. Yes. Yep. I and somebody had like triangular. Yes. Somebody had commented on one of the little videos that I do. So the reels that I've been doing. They're one minute for a reason, and it's because of the different platforms that I upload to. So I know that some of the stuff you want, like you're like, oh, but I want more detail on that. I will do additional videos. I have a hardware video that I've already filmed. I'm finishing up the editing. Hopefully it will be ready like the next week or so. The reels are just meant to be quick little like one minute educational. You don't have to spend a lot of time listening to me kind of things. When it comes to icicles and jewels, those are our names. I, I know that other people sell them. Some of them just call them like 
long strapping or short strapping. There's a bunch of names. It's not like a trademark thing. It's just, those are the names that we came up with because that's just what we do. We name the cork, you know, like that's because it's easier for us. If we called everything generic, it would be very hard for Barb to shift the orders because she'd be like, (laughs) I have no idea what we're doing. So if I say icicle, she knows what I mean. When we name the corks, we don't remember them, but we have them labeled on the shelves. So it's, you know, we can't remember. There's like a hundred plus quarks. I think, yeah, I think I know the answer to this, but I'll let you answer it. Okay. I was wondering if you'll get gold or rainbow kiss lock frames. I know because I can't. Uh, the manufacturer that makes those does not do rainbow, is very much opposed to rainbow and told me that rainbow is out of style. <laughs> Seriously. And I was like, um, no, no, actually you're wrong on that one, but that's okay. I'm not going to fight you on it. And gold is our lo- like lowest seller. Yeah. So no, because I have to order such a massive quantity of those that trying to, I will have those for the rest of my life and then some if I order the gold frames. So that's why we have what we have. I would love to get like smaller amounts of them, but they mm. won't do it. No. When you have things manufactured for you, you have minimums. Um, and the rainbow still cracks me up because literally everything <laughs> has <laughs> rainbow. And she had a whole conversation with me to explain to me how rainbow is so, it's so, um, would she say early 2000s? It's not a common <laughs> color right now. Nobody's into that. And I was like, mm-hmm. okay, yeah. we'll agree to disagree on that one because <laughs> that's one of our biggest sellers. <laughs> Shelly is really pushing it. What she does she want? Bicycles and hiking shoes and running shoes and Australian shepherds. On frogs with music? Yeah, on frogs with music. <laughs> frogs playing guitars yeah, with hiking uh-huh. shoes with Australian there shepherds. You go. If I design that cork, Shelly, I really <laughs> hope that you buy it. <laughs> All of it. All of it. Could you imagine if I was like this one right here? It has Australian shepherds with little frogs and and guitars and a moose with mountains in the background. Okay. There, I got all your stuff in one. Poor So Terry is trying to order some hardware and she's confused. What's the difference between the jewel and the icicle? The shape. She wants to order it. The jewels are the triangular. The jewels are these. They're two separate listings. So... The jewels are these. But they do the same thing. They do the same thing. The jewels are triangular. So that's what you're going to see where your strap attached with that one. And the icicle is this In rainbow. One. In rainbow. That's, that's, that's just what's here. So they both go on your bag on the front side. I don't know if I have anything nearby. Well, you have, you have jewels right there. I don't think I have any icicles. Um, these are jewels. So this goes on the bag. The handle attaches to the little door knocker part. The jewel would also, or the icicle would go like this. It would look the same way and then your handle is attached. So these are better for taller bags. I mean, it would work on the Kaylee, but if you have a short bag, this might take up the entire front of the bag. So that's the difference. That's all. That's it. That's it. (laughs) And then, oops, this one has washers. This one has a washer and screws, but they anchor differently, but they do the same thing. They're just strap anchors. So I hope that answered your question. I didn't even realize I stole a basket of hardware pudding. Yeah. But it needs to be put away. <laughs> this was from the hardware video. Describes the shape. That's the, yeah, you're right. That's the shape, not the finish. Yeah, it's just yeah. the, it's the name mm-hmm. of the product. And then the finish, silver, gunmetal, gold, whatever, yep. whatever finish you want. Rainbow. Rainbow. <laughs> all right. Is that it? That's all I see so far. Okay. Yeah. Well, we have company coming. We yes. have some shoppers. Um, you're always welcome to shop. Just have to tell us first because we're not mm-hmm. always here. So if you ever want to shop, just send me an email and make an appointment. Because as much as we love Barb, Barb doesn't care if she's here or not. She doesn't run the register. It doesn't, doesn't matter to Barb, really. Oh. No. So you can email me and just ask and we'll set you up. But I have, I think we have four people coming later. I think it's up to four. There's four now? Might be four. Huh. Who knows? Who knows? You never know who it's they might pick up on the way. <laughs> they might pick up more strangers on the way here. Who knows? <laughs> we like friends. We're friendly people. So <laughs> that's our afternoon. Um, and then, yeah, I'll be here. I don't know if I'm going to be here or be at home, but I'll be here by myself again on Friday because Barb has a retreat. Yes. So are you excited? Is it full? 
Oh, yeah. Yep. Definitely I figured. Full. Always full. It's actually, 46 this time. 40. Holy. 46. Holy. You're in charge of 46 people. 46 people. <laughs> That's a lot of people. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Feed them. Get them real. How whatever. many of those 46 stay? About 36. That's mm -hmm. a lot. That's a that's like a whole hotel full of quilters like 20, and sewers. 21 rooms, I think we have this time. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. That's how popular Barb is. Woohoo! <laughs> and that, out of that, those people, there's like 46 more that was like, no, I want to be on the list. I want to get in that. And she there had to say no. Went, yeah. <laughs> Waiting lists all around. <laughs> 46 people. Yeah. My goodness. So, I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys. Yeah, I, don't know. Mm -hmm. I will go put these on the notions page if you're interested. And other than that, I I'll think we're done. Welcome. Yes. Said, Thanks for sharing photos of the retreats. <laughs> That's She's what I always, do all the time. She always does. She's good with the photos. I am not. I forget. All right. Hang on a second. Can you use the oh? You can use the, those um things on either cotton or vinyl or cork. Yeah, you, if you, any of it. If you use cotton, just make sure just that make you sense. interface it yeah. and stabilize the back wall. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah. All right. All right, we're going to see Sounds you guys good. next week.